continuation uh, of the video I've just uploaded uh, on YouTube about having one test net. So once you have completed your KYC, you have done the liveness test and you have done, uh, you have uploaded your ID. It's going to be pending. So it's going to be approved within 24 hours or rejected so that you can do it again in case uh, uh, the picture you took wasn't clear or something of the sort. So should it fail, you will be notified. Should it succeed, you are also going to be uh, notified on email. So now, um, once you have completed that, uh, because I've realized you may experience a few problems, so I've decided to do this uh, small video uh, to show how you complete now the process completely. So once uh, you've now gotten to that page, uh, you actually get to the page where you were uh, using the link I've uh, dropped on the description of the video I've posted on YouTube. So run, out in, uh, run it on MetaMask browser or uh, you can use Mises browser and then it's going to be bringing you here. So what you do, click on the menu section and then you're going to click on the faucet. And by the way, uh, you can still uh, scroll down and see where you 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 using the option of um, uh, faucets or something of the sort. All right, so I click on faucet, and then you will be getting the option of claim faucet. All right, that is uh, okay. Let me click on testnet. Uh, uh, have and one. Okay, so we are on this page. Let it connect. So this is the this is the page that we were okay. So you click on sign in to access faucet okay. So let's sign in, just using the same link I posted on the description of the video on YouTube. So get that link, and then of course come and sign. Sign this, and then click on request testnet h1 okay. That is having one. So I think it has requested as of now. So you will now be able to see, yes, 10 testnet um, H1 tokens has been uh, uh, credited to your wallet. So uh, what are they telling us? You can use them to interact within the applications within Haven One ecosystem. Okay, I'll do that later. Let me tap on that. So now to see this, uh, what you do, just go to your MetaMask. Let me just go to MetaMask. Uh, let me go to MetaMask and see whether I can see now they haven't won. I remember we added having one uh, testnet blockchain. So I don't know whether it has added itself here. And if it has not, you can actually consider to add it manually. Let me try to get it. Okay. So in case you can't see it here, we are going to be adding it manually. Uh, okay, I can't see it here. Uh, H1, H1, H1. I can't see it. So let me get the details. We add it manually. Now to add it manually, I'm going to be tapping on sign in to access faucet. So once I tap this, uh, okay, I'm going to tap on sign in again. Let me see whether... Uh, doesn't look like it's working. So in, in short, what I'm looking for is those details to add the blockchain. Let me get them right away. Okay. Okay. Finally, I got what I was looking for, the details for adding uh, the Haven One network manually because I actually added it through testnet. It's not reflecting. So what you do uh, so that I can show you how you can actually get these details, just go to your browser. It can be Chrome or any. Write Haven One having one test net okay so once you search uh, these are the results you get having one de a test net so these are the results you get we are going to be using result number this is one two three uh, okay where well you can see onboarding and verification so let me tap on this okay so once you tap that is going to be giving you uh, these options, MetaMask recommended, blah, blah, blah. Step one, add Haven testnet. So you, option one, you can add through Haven one testnet website. I've already done that, but I can't see it on my MetaMask. So option two is to manually through the wallet. So that's what I'm going to be doing. 
So I will tap on uh, manually through the wallet and then it's going to be giving me all those options. So number one, uh, network name is Haven, Haven1 uh, uh, Cov Testnet, all right? Is it Cov or something? But it's me to write the way I want. So I can write Haven1, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'll just uh, open my MetaMask here so that I can add it manually. I show you how to do that. So what you do, come and tap on whichever blockchain is active up here. Okay, so come and tap there. So once you have tapped there, click on add network and then click on custom networks. So network name, right? Haven one. You can even write Haven one is just for you to know which blockchain is this. Haven one test net. That's what I'm going to write. So let me see. The RPC uh, they are giving us here is, uh, I can actually copy this and paste to make my work easier. Uh, let me see. Uh, where is the, okay, let me, let me just go back. Uh, okay, I don't know whether, okay, get started manually. Yes, this is what I was looking for. So this is the RPC. This is what I'm supposed to copy. I'll copy this. The chain ID is 810 and the currency symbol is H1. Okay. So I'll come back here to MetaMask. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, it took me back. So uh, RPC, I'll paste this. I've just copied. Uh, name I've said is having one test net uh, and then a chain ID was uh, 810 was it I think so yes and then currency symbol is h1 h1 okay so blockchain explorer you can actually block explorer you can ignore that so then you click on add so it's available switch to network yes it was available i don't know where why i was not able to locate it uh i already received the 10 uh, h1 testnet i've just used uh, some of the little amount to swap but then once you have it that is the most important thing to get the testnet tokens and to do the kyc okay so once you have completed the kyc of course you can be sure that you're going to be getting the airdrop but doing the testnet is actually an added advantage so you can proceed with that in case of any question we'll be trying uh, as much as we can to help okay